Hello there, my name is Joey, this is Eclectics Workshop, and today I really don't know what to work on. So I'm gonna make some coffee and think about it. Through the magic of a transition, here we are in my kitchen. Let's get this coffee started. Yay, coffee. Never mind. I guess I know what I'm working on today, but first I'm gonna keep pressing this button and squeeze as much coffee out of this thing as I can. Now that I have my coffee, we should learn how this thing works so that we can figure out what's going on with it. Technology Connections made a deep dive on coffee makers and it teaches you way more than you ever wanted to know. Check it out if you're interested because this one's only going to cover how this one works, but don't worry. It's way simpler than you think. Water in this reservoir passes through a check valve, which is just a ball that blocks a hole in one direction, and feeds this metal tube with attached heating element. As the water heats, it creates a pressure that closes the check valve and pushes the water up and out, which lowers the pressure and reopens the valve. New water then flows in, regulating temperature and preventing the thermal switch from tripping. Once the water runs out, the tube overheats and the switch cuts off the power. This should be when you're ready to drink it. But something's causing my pipe to overheat prematurely, and I think that it's mineral buildup that's not allowing the pipe to adequately cool. But let's see. They tried to stop us with these tamper-resistant screws, but that's easily bypassed with an appropriately sized flathead. Never work on appliances when they're plugged in. And can you help me remember I put these screws here? Thanks. Pressing in on the tabs will allow the bottom to pop off. Then we can remove the button return mechanism, the support bar, and the hose clamps. Then this pops right out. Ew. It looks like I was right. To try and clean this thing out, I've got a pipe cleaner and a straw brush. Let's see if it works. The pipe cleaner didn't fare well, and the straw brush got stuck and had an explosive release. <laughs> but that loosened it up and made it a little bit easier. While I was at it, I also cleaned the exit tube. With it clean and put back together, I went to make a second cup of coffee. And all was going well. Until I realized I was back at square one. So this time, I pulled out an IR thermometer to see what was happening. It cut off at about 200 degrees, which is right where it should be while it's brewing. To follow a hunch, I cleaned off some of the excess thermal paste before reattaching the switch. I then performed a wet test with the IR thermometer. Everything's working well now. It even cut off right when it was supposed to. And I got this thing all back together in time for my second cup. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you learned something. Thanks. Bye.